Okay, now I want to at least make a start into quantum mechanics today. And I want to start by telling you about the historical development of quantum theory as this history is told by physicists today. Now the so-called history that physicists believe is so absurd that I've decided to present it to you as a fairy tale, which it is. Fairy tales are sometimes read to children at night until they go to sleep. Well, this fairy tale serves the same purpose. It has put physicists to sleep for the past 70 years. Here it is. Once upon a time, there was a land of happy physicists. They were happy because they made rapid progress in understanding the world around them. Above all, they were happy because they believed in an intelligible, lawful universe that was entirely open to the human mind, waiting to be discovered. Tragically, this belief turned out to be based on nothing more than naivety and ignorance. One day the physicists began observing the world more carefully, performing more experiments, gathering more facts, and they made the most startling and profound discovery of all time. They discovered that the world is not lawful or intelligible. At the most fundamental level, it is ruled not by causality, but by sheer chance. And this wasn't all. The new experiments proved that the basic constituents of matter don't even exist with specific properties until we observe them. They pop into existence when we measure them. Now even though these new discoveries were very exciting, the physicists felt sad that their happy predecessors had been wrong. After all, they thought, it would be nice to live in a world of physical things that really existed with definite properties, things that always acted in accordance with their properties. But alas, there is no such world. No matter how much the physicists might wish for it, facts are facts, and the scientific objectivity required them to accept the conclusions that followed from the observations. And the sad truth is that the physical world isn't. It isn't real, it isn't causal, it isn't intelligible. As lovers of truth, the physicists not only had to accept this new discovery, they had to acknowledge it as their crowning achievement and the most profound insight in the history of science. In the end, the physicists all gave each other Nobel Prizes and lived happily ever after. At least they were happy when it, whenever anyone observed them. The rest of the time they remained in an indeterminate state. 